Hello, Guido here from Blockbuilders, and I want to show you guys today how the exchange Betsy works. And first of all, if you don't have an account yet with Betsy um, on Betsy.com, you can actually use my link uh, down in the um, comments. With that link, you actually save 20% of the trading fees. So feel free to sign up with it and actually save um, real money with the trading fees. And once you have opened an account on Betsy, you can actually get um, some extra money from Betsy as well. Um, so what they do is um, they have like something that they call bonus checklist and you can click on it. And then you can see that you, for example, get um, 10 US dollars for free if you retweet something or on Twitter. And you can get another 100 US dollars on um, your first deposit if you actually deposit 100 US dollar or Bitcoin worth 100 US dollar in your futures wallet, then you get another um, 100 US dollars for free. And sometimes they also have trading competitions that you can join and actually win real Bitcoins. And so with that, you actually have like some nice amount to start with and to get familiar with um, Betsy. So feel free to use um, these bonuses that they offer you to for your trading. So once you signed up and you maybe did your first deposit and you can also verify your account. In order to do that, you click here and then you click on account and then you just need to click on verification. And there you need to add your personal data and upload a scan of your passport or your ID card. And once you did that and they will verify you, it usually takes one to two days and then you are verified and that actually gives you the opportunity to trade um, higher amounts and to deposit and withdraw um, higher amounts of money. So it's actually very useful to verify yourself. Um, and once you have done that, you can actually start trading. But before you can do that, you actually need money in your wallet. In order to do that, you can just click on wallets here on the top. I will remove myself here. And here you have two kinds of wallets. You have a spot wallet and you have a futures wallet. And the spot wallet is actually if you want to buy or sell cryptocurrencies. So you basically physically want to sell Bitcoin, for example, or buy Bitcoin, and you use your spot wallet. And if you want to trade futures, um, for example, like you do on BitMEX, um, you need your futures wallet. So with futures, you are actually buying um, contracts um, that are bound to the price of Bitcoin, for example. So let's assume you want to deposit um, USD or Bitcoin. You just need to click here on deposit BTC, for example, and then they would show you a BTC address where you can set your BTC and your account will be credited with that amount of BTC once it arrived. Uh, you can also do um, bank transfers for your deposit. For example, here you can deposit euro, for example, and then you just need to type in how much you want to deposit. Let's say 500 euros, click here, and then they show you a bank where you can wire the money to. And it actually goes faster if you also upload a deposit slip. So a screenshot of from the transfer that they can verify your transfer. And then you actually have money on your spot wallet that you can use to buy Bitcoins or Ethereum or Litecoin or whatever on Betsy. And you can also use your futures wallet. So if you want to trade futures and you need to transfer money from your spot wallet to your futures wallet, um, it's basically pretty easy. Um, it usually makes sense to send it to your cross and futures wallet. So you can use it on all contracts and positions. So you just click on transfer and then you can see here you could, for example, send money from your cross, so from your futures wallet to the spot wallet, or you could also do it the other way around in the spot wallet. Um, you could, for example, send USD to your futures wallet, and then it would be credited to your futures wallet. The futures wallet here is always called Cross all positions because then you can use it on all future contracts 
that are traded on Betsy. And to send it back and forth, um, it goes immediately, so you don't have to wait until it arrives, and you don't have to pay fees for transfers between the spot and the futures wallet, so it's very convenient. The next thing we want to look at is um, the spot market. So Betsy itself as an exchange is um, a place where you can buy Bitcoins, for example. And in order to do that, you can go to the spot exchange. And here you can see the different contracts that are traded on Betsy. For example, um, Bitcoin against USD. And then you see Tether, Ethereum, Litecoin, Monero, and a lot of indexes. So indexes is basically um, similar to uh, Bitcoin to USD. It's just that they use an index price. So it's an average price between uh, different exchanges. And they do that in order to take some volatility off. You can also change the candles here from the chart. So you would have hourly candles here. So one candle would always be one hour. So then you can see how the price um, developed during the last few hours and so on. And you have different kind of order types that you can actually use to buy and sell um, Bitcoin here. And you have limit and market orders. So with the limit order, um, you can actually say um, you want to buy Bitcoin. And here you can say for what price you actually want to buy. So let's assume the price is currently at 7,486 US dollar. And you can say, okay, I only want to buy it. So the price drops to 7,350 US dollar. And then I want to buy, I don't know how many Bitcoins. You can just add it here and you can see how much um, USD you have to invest in order to buy these Bitcoins. And the order then goes into the order book and it will only be filled um, if the price drops to that level. So if the price never drops to that level, it would never get filled. Um, if you want to sell your Bitcoins, it's basically the same. You can say with a limit order, okay, um, if the price goes to that, maybe 8,000, you want to sell your Bitcoins. Um, and say how much because you want to sell. Okay, and sell it, and then you could click on sell Bitcoins, and then it would only be I'm sold if the price reaches that level. So then you click sell order, and it would go into the order book. A bit different here is the market order, and the market order will get filled immediately. So here you can say at which price you want to buy. You can only say how much USD you want to invest. So let's say you want to invest 100 US dollar. Um, that would probably give you um, an estimated 0 0.0133 BTC. And the order would get filled immediately to the best price that is currently available on the exchange. So you don't have to wait for that order to get filled. It would be filled immediately. And the same is true if you want to sell your Bitcoin, you just say, how much Bitcoin you want to sell, or how many Bitcoins you want to sell, and then you press sell and the order would be added or filled immediately. And here you have the chart, and here you have the last trades that happened on the exchange, and here is the order book, so all the sale, sell orders, so that are all limit orders, and that are all buy orders here. Um, so that's a spot exchange and what you can also do is you can trade futures and with futures you also have um, limited market orders. One thing we didn't talk about um, was a stop order. You could also use a stop order here. For example, you could use a stop market order. So there you can say, okay, I want to buy Bitcoin if the price um, goes to, I don't know, 7,000 US dollar. Then I want to buy Bitcoin and um, worth 1,000 $1, US dollar. And then you can click buy order. Um, and it would execute and when the price drops to that level. And the same is true for the sell order. So if you have Bitcoin and you want to um, enter a stop loss, for example, so you want to make sure you don't lose too much money. Um, for example, you bought Bitcoin at $7,485. 
you say, okay, I want to leave my position if the price drops below um, 7,000 euros, uh, 7,000 dollars, and then you just enter how much of the Bitcoin you want to sell. So you click sell order, and then the order would be added to the order book. And that would basically sell you um, Bitcoins once that price is reached, just to make sure you don't lose too much money on it. And so back to the futures. So you again have the limit and market orders, but here you don't buy physical Bitcoins. Here you buy actually contracts that are back to the price of Bitcoin. So you always buy um, contracts here and one contract is 0.001 BTC. So you can buy, for example, 1000 contracts. It would be exactly one BTC. And for that, you actually pay funding every eight hours. So if you are long right now, so the current funding rate that you can see here is 0.0021%. So if you go long, you would pay every eight hours currently that amount, but it can change every eight hours. If you would go short, um, so you think the price will go down, you go short and you would actually receive that amount of money every eight hours. So sometimes it just pays to be in a position without um, the price going into your direction. But usually it's not that much money. So that usually doesn't make sense to just bet on funding. Um, it makes more sense to bet on the price and the direction. So what you can do now is you can say, okay, I want to go long. Um, I want to buy one Bitcoin, 1,000 contracts. And if the price goes to 73, 7,350 USD, and then you say buy long, and um, your order will be added to the order book. And one thing we didn't talk about yet is uh, margin. When you trade futures, you can actually do margin trading, so you um, trade with leverage. So for example, here I have 200 USD in my account, and I can buy one Bitcoin because I use a leverage. And here I currently use cross leverage. So they usually take the, take all my money I have into that account for the orders I have. And I could also say I want to use a leverage of um, 1 to 25, for example. No, that's not enough. Um, or a leverage of 1 to 15. And so on. So let's assume you have, um, we'll cancel that order. Um, let's assume you have 200 USD in your account and you use a leverage of one to 10, you could actually buy Bitcoin worth um, 2,000 USD. And if you use one to 20, it would be 4,000 USD and so on. And up to, up to um, 100X, so up to, 20,000 USD if I use um, leverage. The other thing is, uh, but don't be careful with that because you will get liquidated if the price drops. So if you use a leverage of 1 to 10 X, um, you will get liquidated when the price drops by close to 10%. Um, that's to leverage. Um, to limit orders and um, besides limit orders you can also do market orders and there you only say how many contracts you want to buy so I want to buy one contract then you say i think the price will go up so you buy long or you think the price will go down then you sell short and let's say the price will go down and then i would have like an open position of one contract it's only seven usd and then you can see here your unrealized profit and loss and the liquidation price. And here it doesn't really make sense because I have 200 USD in my account, but um, I only have one contract, so I would be liquidated. So my dollar would be gone and if the price goes up to 200,000 USD. So it's a bit bullshit. And, but I mean, it makes sense if you buy higher con or more contracts. So for example, if you would invest like 1000 USD, um, you would have a liquidation price of 
just 20% lower um, than um, your entry price and so on. So always have a look at that um, and make sure you don't get liquidated because if you get liquidated, your money is gone. And to close it, you can just click market, close, and then the price and your position will be um, close to the best price that is currently available on the market. Besides that, you can also do stops. So if you say, I want to go long, but if the price drops too much, I want to exit my position. The same is true if you want to go short. You say, okay, I think the price will go down, but if the price goes up too much, I want to um, exit my position and just to make sure I don't lose too much money on it. So that's um, basically it. That are the different uh, trading types you can do here on Betsy. So you can actually buy real Bitcoins and like have them or withdraw them from the exchange. Or you can just trade with futures. And then you can actually trade with leverage um, with up to 100x leverage in order to make money on the price if the price goes up or down. And if you have any question about it, um, feel free to use the comments down below. And as I said, if you don't have an account yet, um, feel free to use my link to save 20% of the trading fees. And thanks for watching and see you soon.